Hi everyone, I'm Doc Ken and welcome to Chapter 4 of Science, Technology, and Society entitled Biodiversity and Genetically Modified Organism. So what are the learning outcomes for this chapter? One is to determine the interrelatedness of society, the environment, and health. Two, explain the process of genetic engineering. And three, discuss the ethics, implications, and potential future impacts of genetically modified organisms. So first, let's talk about biodiversity. Bio means life. Diversity means variety. Biodiversity is also known as biological diversity, which is a term given to variety of life or living things on earth and natural patterns of its forms. The biodiversity we see today is the fruit of billions of years of evolution shaped by natural processes and increasingly by the influence of humans. It forms the web of life of which we are integral part which we fully depend. This diversity is often understood in terms of the wide variety of plants, animals, and microorganisms. So far, about 1.75 million species have been identified, and mostly small creatures such as insects. Scientists reckon that there are actually about 13 million species, though estimates range from 3 to 100 million. Biodiversity includes genetic differences with each species, for example, between varieties of crops and breeds of livestock. Chromosomes, genes, and DNA, the building blocks of life, determine the uniqueness of each individual and each species. It is the combination of life forms and their interaction with each other and with the rest of the environment that has made Earth a uniquely habitable place for humans. Biodiversity provides a large number of goods and services that sustains our lives. The loss of biodiversity threatens food supplies, opportunities for recreation and tourism, and sources of wood, medicine, and energy. We have three types of biodiversity. Just remember the acronym EGGS. E stands for Ecosystem Diversity, G stands for Genetic Diversity, and S stands for Species Diversity. First, let's talk about ecosystem diversity. Ecosystem diversity deals with the variations in ecosystem within a geographical location and its overall impact on human existence and the environment. Ecological diversity is a type of biodiversity. It is the variation in the ecosystem found in a region or variations in ecosystem over the whole planet. Ecological diversity includes the variation in both terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Ecological diversity can also take into account the variation in the complexity of biological community including the number of different niches, the number of tropic levels, and other ecological processes. An example of ecological diversity on a global scale would be the variation in ecosystem such as deserts, forests, grasslands, wetlands, and oceans. Ecological diversity is the largest scale of biodiversity and within each ecosystem, there is a great deal of both species and genetic diversity. Next, species diversity. Species diversity is defined as the number of species in abundance of each species that live in a particular location. The number of species that live in a certain location is called species richness. If you were to measure the species richness of a forest, you might find a 20 bird species, 50 plant species, and 10 mammal species. Abundance is the number of individuals of each species. For example, there might be 100 monkeys that live in a forest. We can talk about species diversity on a small scale like a forest or a large scale like the total diversity of species living on Earth. Lastly, genetic diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the diversity within species. Each individual species possesses genes which are the source of its own unique features 
in human beings, for example, the huge variety of people's faces reflects each person's genetic individuality. The term genetic diversity also covers distinct populations of a single species such as the thousands of breeds of different dogs or the numerous variety of roses. Next, let's talk about GMO or genetically modified organisms. Genetically modified organisms are living organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering. This creates combinations of plant, animal, bacteria, and virus genes that do not occur in nature or through traditional cross-breeding method. A genetically modified organism or GMO is a plant animal, microorganism, or other organism whose genetic makeup has been modified using recombinant DNA methods, also called gene splicing, gene modification, or transgenic technology. A genetically modified organism is any organism whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. A wide variety of organisms have been genetically modified from animals to plants and microorganisms. Genes have been transferred within the same species across species creating transgenic organisms and even across kingdoms. New genes can be introduced or can be enhanced. Genetic modification aims to address issues with regards to food, food security, agriculture, drug production, and nutrition. The above figure shows a man on the left is naturally nurturing the plant to grow, while the other man on the right is artificially introducing a gene from other organism in order for the tree to progressively grow healthier and better than a natural grown plant. This is a good example of genetically modified organism. According to the World Health Organization, the possible benefits of genetic engineering include less allergenicity, more nutritious food, a tastier food, no disease and drought-resistant plants that require fewer environmental resources such as water and fertilizer, less use of pesticides, increased supply of food with reduced cost and longer shelf life, faster growing plants and animals, food with more desirable traits such as potatoes that produce less of a cancer-causing substance when fried, medicinal foods that could be used as vaccine or other medicines. However, there are some people have expressed concerns about GMO foods such as creating foods that can cause an allergic reaction or that are toxic, unexpected or harmful genetic changes, and genes moving from one GM plant or animal to another plant or animal that I is not genetically engineered, foods that are less nutritious, but uh, these concerns have proven to be unfounded. None of the GMO foods used today have caused any of these problems. Next, let's talk about Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety to the Convention on Biological Diversity. Uh, this protocol is an international agreement which aims to ensure the safe handling, transport, and use of living modified organisms or LMOs resulting from modern biotechnology that may have adverse effects on biological diversity, taking also into account the risks to human health. The Advanced Informed Agreement or AIA procedure is designed to ensure that before an LMO or living modified organism is imported into a country for the first time for international introduction into the environment, the party of import must notify it about the proposal import, receives full information about the LMO and its intended use, and lastly, has an opportunity to assess the risk associated with that LMO and to decide whether or not to use to allow the import. The protocol covers the following, such as transboundary movement, transit, handling and use of all living modified organisms that may have adverse effects on the conversation, 
and sustainable use of biological diversity. The protocol does not cover the following, such as products derived from living modified organisms, such as paper from genetically modified trees, and living modified organisms, which are treatments for humans that are addressed by other pertinent international agreements or associations.